good, man. Yeah. Excited about tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just ready to go out there and go to work. Here we got a full practice in today as well. Hmm? Here we got a full practice in today as well. Straight. Yeah. Straight. We're talking about some of the subtle adjustments that we're making. What kind of things we're doing? We were talking the other day about just some of the subtle adjustments you had to make. Just to like, what were some of those subtle things? I'm not talking about my injury. <laughs> you getting tired of talking about it? I mean, you know, people talk about having such a short season. You don't come out the gate any different. You still play fundamental basketball, whether it's the same season, amount of games or not, right? Yeah, you just come out and just uh, do the things that we've been working on here in practice. That's all. Just. Only difference is you'll be having you know, thousands of people watching or whatever. Just, the execution is still the same. This will be the 13th consecutive year the Lakers have played on Christmas, and you play on Christmas. How do you, how do you, wow. think, how do you feel about another Christmas Day game and play on Christmas? I think it's great. You know, especially you know, the older you get, the more you, you know, you appreciate it. I think because uh, it's, uh, you know, it's fun. I mean, it's you, you know, you, you get to play on Christmas Day. There's only a certain amount of games that are slotted to play that day, and you're fortunate to be a part of it. So, you know, the truth of the matter is, we we'll all miss it once it's not here anymore. So, you really want to enjoy it while you're there. You're going to set the record once you get in the game, or once you start. You'll have the record for most uh, most Christmas Day games played of anybody. Oh yeah! In the league. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. We've been very fortunate. Kobe, I know there's a mutual respect with you and Derek Rose. Do you, do you like? Is it the approach to the game he has? Is it sort of a similar mindset that you guys share? Yeah, he has. You know. This, not that many players in the league that uh, you know, have that engine in them, that beast in them. And, uh, not too many at all. He's, he's certainly one of them, so I can uh, appreciate that. Did you notice that right away with him? Or yeah. yeah. So Hamilton's presence obviously gives them another scoring option. But how's that kind of change the complexion of what the makeup of their team? Well, it gives them great experience. And, um, improves their depth, you know. And uh, Hamilton's an underrated passer. He's a very good passer with his pocket passing and coming off the of screens and pin downs and you know, gives him another dimension. Kobe, do you like the position you guys are in? I mean, this is something unique that you haven't been in since prior to the cow trade where no one's really given you guys a lot of credit. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're used to it. We've been here before. You know, in 2008, we kind of came out of nowhere even after the Soul trade. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not a good idea. I don't really don't remember much. I, mean, I was like 19. Uh, so I don't even know if I was tired or not. I was 19 years old. I don't remember. I think one of those was in Vancouver and maybe Kurt lost his job like two days later. I mean, it was a mess. It was a mess. That's all I remember. Now here. Whoever. <laughs> one of those guys. One of them. Yeah. I mean, it, was, it was a crazy season. Yeah, no, it's better to get them done now while we're still fresh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just play the three in a row right off the top instead of waiting until, you know, February or March. Or whatever. Is it going to be weird going into the season knowing that you still have stuff to learn as far as Brown's system goes? Um, well, I mean, it's different. You know, last year, year before, we kind of, you know, we knew everything that we were right. doing. You know? But also, I think there's an added incentive and drive for us to work even harder and harder and harder to try to figure this thing out as quickly as possible. Do you like the fact that something different at this point in your career is happening? That you know you get another challenge here. It doesn't matter. I, I always approach challenges. You know, I just kind of take them as they come. So now this challenge is here. This is how I take it. This is how I view it, and try to figure out his system and master it as quickly as I can. Kobe, you were talking the other day about just kind of the deep programming process of, you know, just mastering the, the concepts coming in. Since the start of training camp until now, what, what do you think the team's learned thus far? I mean, this is We've learned a lot. We've learned a great deal. And it just keeps coming, and I think now it's about it becoming a habit. You know, we're not out there thinking about it and, you know, catching ourselves in the middle of mistakes or wrong rotations, but uh, continuing to work on them so that you don't see us thinking anymore. We just do it. Lakers are 4 and 8. Christmas Day over the past 12 years. Is that disappointing or is it just not bad? Um, no, we seem to make it up. We seem to make it up. It's, it's always been like a trade off. We go four and eight on Christmas Day and then we're in seven of the last 11 finals. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's been a balancing act. <laughs> it's a better Christmas present anyway.
to get their Christmas presents later. Happy or sad that uh, Monday's game's in Sacramento instead of Anaheim. <laughs> it would have been great if it was in Anaheim. Wasn't it? <laughs> Hometown crowd. Damn. But they had a big celebration the last time we played Sacramento. Right. It was like mm -hmm. this big thing, right. you know, concert and stuff. And all for not. <laughs> did you take a last look around? I did. No, I did not. <laughs> no, I, did not. I remember that you place. You should have literally. good memories of it, though, right? I have fond memories of it. I have great memories of it. Um, yeah. but it's a great arena, though, man. You know, it's, it's, it's an ugly place, but it's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's good for basketball. It's a good gym. It's a good gym. Kobe, when you were younger, were, were you the same way when you got hurt that you would always, you know, people always talk about your, your pain threshold. Have you had that your whole life? Was I a chump and then grew into a tough guy? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Always <laughs> oh, a little tough guy. <laughs>